I'm Rob Van Raphorst. Welcome to the Eye on Washington. Well, the big news coming out of our nation's capital is that the House finally passed the trillion dollar infrastructure bill. Now, this will soon be signed into law by President Biden. Now, there weren't any housing measures included, but there are housing items in another big bill being discussed by Congress, the Build Back Better Act. That bill could have broad impacts on real estate finance. Now, MBA is, of course, in constant discussion with congressional leaders on a variety of housing issues being considered. They include a minimum corporate book tax that could negatively impact MSR valuations, tax changes affecting pass-through entities, preserving the current treatment of Section 1031 like-kind exchanges, and housing-related tax credits. Now, discussions around this bill will go on well into November, but MBA will be sure to keep you up to speed on everything that's happening. And before I go, I want to mention one other item. Last week, the Federal Open Market Committee of the Federal Reserve announced its plans to begin its per tapering its purchases of Treasury securities and agency MBS. This is the first pullback in accommodative monetary policy by the Fed since the beginning of the pandemic. As a result of this, and an improving economy, MBA is projecting that 30-year mortgage rates will increase to about 4% by the end of 2022. That's it from Washington, and now you're up to speed.